In our last Newton video, we checked King Street towards the north. This time, we're gonna check King Street towards the south, towards Sydney Park. As we've mentioned before, Newton is very big, and we know it very well because we live just around the corner. So there's tons of places that we'd like to recommend. Like we mentioned in our previous video about Newtown, probably the best way to get here is by train. Today's recommendation for London is the Cincy Cafe. It's one of our favorites. We come here all the time. It's one of the places you can get authentic Maltese and Cincy's, but they also sell pasta as well. It's BYO, so you can bring your own. There's at least 20 types of pastizzi available here, but my absolute favorite is the chicken and chorizo. We also got the chicken pesto penne. It was delish and the beef lasagna. Newtown is also famous for its anti-establishment culture. Newtown has a really great variety of vintage and boutique clothes stores. You can find something really unique and, and quite special. Some of my favorites are the clothes shops that sell rockabilly dresses. One of our favorite vintage shops is one called the Stitch Shop. If you were born in the late or mid 80s like we were, you'll find this place amazing. They have items from the 2000s and the 90s, so they remind me of my childhood. You can find very interesting toys and clothes, accessories, everything here. We've taken a bit of a detour from the main area of our video today. We're here at the Newtown Festival. Firstly, how cool is my giant pineapple? When Newtown Festival is one of the biggest festivals in the inner west, it's full of market stalls, you'll find some really cool crafts, um, food stalls, and really great music as well. Check it out, it only happens once a year though, so you'll be lucky to catch it. Newton Festival is a perfect place for people watching, boutique item shopping, trying many delicious tasty foods, and just having a good time on a summer day. Depending on what you want to see, there's different times of day you should go. So if you want to look at all of the market stalls without too many crowds, go early in the morning. But if you're there for the music and good times and having a drink on the grass, go in the afternoon. It gets packed, but it's an awesome atmosphere. Newtown has a very big musical culture. Repress Records is one of the shops where you're going to see this. They specialize in independent music from Australia and some from around the world. You can also find some novelty items like old cassettes and literature. Like we mentioned in our previous video, the south end of King Street also has a ton of street art. It's one of my favorite things about the area and part of what makes it so quirky and a great place to live.
PG Market is a little bit of a hidden gem to me. This place is particularly relevant to me as a Mexican because this is where I can find all my products from back home. They have tons of cooking ingredients and essential things that you won't find anywhere else. Apart from Mexican and Latin things, you can also find like products from all over the world here. It's a specialty shop. All right, guys. So if you manage to make it to the very end of South King Street, not the very end, but like close to the end, you're gonna be rewarded with one of my favorite places to drink in all of Newtown and probably all of Sydney. Behind me is the Union, the Union Hotel. This place has the best selection of craft beer you're gonna find in any pub around this area. We come here a lot because we live just around the corner and the selection of beer is amazing. If you're a beer fan like I am, you're gonna be amazed at their massive selection. They rotate their massive taps weekly and they always have something new available. Local tip. If you wanna try a bit of everything, we recommend you get a paddle. Then you can have a small little taste of a few beers. So one of the beers, one of the five beers that I got in my paddle tonight was Digital Bath. This beer is a contribution made by the band Deftones towards Belching Beaver Brewery in California. I just tried it for the first time and I can say it's hands down one of the best beers I have tried in my life. They also have a bistro in case you're hungry after drinking so much beer. If you don't like beer, they also have a really good selection of wine and gin. They have a bottle shop right next door and it's also good. Like, you're gonna find a lot of craft beers to take away home. I even managed to get my hands on one of those beers that I was telling you about before. So right now we're gonna show you a very special place here in Newtown. This is Lentil as anything. The labor that these guys do is awesome, so make sure you support them and check them out on your visit to Newtown. Lentil as anything has been designed to be a community space where you can share a meal and some conversation with someone. It works on a donation basis, so you contribute what you can afford to pay for the meal. We recommend between $15 and $20. Tonight we ate a lentil loaf curry. We also had some vegetarian curries on rice and we had an apple flavored dessert as well. Right next to lentils, anything you're gonna find holy moly. This place is ideal for a Saturday or Friday night with your friends. Basically, holy moly is a mini golf with a bar and a great atmosphere. You pay depending on how many holes you wanna play that night. You go and grab your balls, get your club, put on your silly hat and you're ready to rock. Each hole in this mini golf is very well themed and with different topics altogether. Some of them are very cartoony, some of them are political, but all in all, you're gonna have a good time just interacting with the settings. And when you get thirsty, you can just pop up to one of their bars and grab a drink. So Roman won the first round, let's see who wins 
the second. I think there was some dodgy scoring involved. Yeah, I won the first round, and also the second round. One of our favorite things about Newtown, and Sydney in general for that matter, is its wide variety of culinary options. Pasha's, where we had dinner today, is one of our favorite restaurants of all Sydney. We live very close to this area, so we come here quite often, and it's really delicious. They serve Turkish food, and the food is absolutely amazing. We cannot recommend it more. Pasha's is a fantastic cozy little restaurant in Newtown. It has excellent food and very nice interiors. We recommend you get one of the banquets, that way you get to try many different things. This time we tried the Taste of Istanbul banquet. It includes traditional Turkish messes with bread, which are delicious, zucchini with yogurt, ladyfingers with feta and some grilled halloumi as an entree as well. The pomegranate salad is a winner all the time, it's very fresh and tasty and the grilled meat is just delicious. It also has some Turkish delights and baklava for dessert. If you come on a weekend night, you can also enjoy the belly dancing show they put. If you look for a sign that says the name or something like that, you will never find it. Instead, look for this old facade. This awesome cocktail bar is just hiding behind an old butcher shop facade, so make sure you don't miss it and its small door, because inside you're gonna find some really, really good drinks. It has a very chilled atmosphere and the staff are very friendly, so make sure you try one of their delicious cocktails. Thanks for watching! I hope you liked our video. If you want to see more, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.